I used to live here, you know. You're gonna die here, you know. And welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. We're on the planet Tatooine in Return of the Jedi. Uh, we're talking once again about my Tatooine skiff and the Sarlacc pit. And I've done a video about this. This is the vintage Kenner toy itself. I'm just gonna take Luke and the others out of here. And this suspicious looking uh, Jabba's henchman. We all know what's going on there. Um, and I'll even take the uh, Sarlacc pit out of the way because we're talking about the skiff vehicle itself. Now again, I've talked about this. I've done a video. And uh, as part of that video, I did need to point out a couple of flaws. So when I got this thing back out of storage, I noticed it was missing a few pieces. These rear tail antenna things, these are not the original. You can see they kind of they move that way. These are not from the uh, 84, 85 original. These are from a 2000 rebuild or reprint of this skiff toy. But I just thought, well, I can't find these ones that I had anymore. And you know what? I got these pretty cheap on eBay. So at least it, it restores the skiff somewhat. You know, let's retract the uh, landing gear here so that we are looking a little more. There we go. A little more like in the movie. There, now we're floating over the sandy world of Tatooine. Um, but... The other part that's definitely missing off this is something that has proven to be really, really hard. And that is, there's supposed to be little guide rails here. There's, you know, essentially little plastic ladders, and I have not been able to find them anywhere. These things are gone, gone, gone. Much like these little antenna things. But I thought to myself, well, I'll just hop on eBay. Somebody's got to have parts for this thing. Yeah, for a lot of money. And I just thought, no, no, no. I mean, I'm not a purist. I would like to have all original vintage parts, but this is my toy from back when I was a kid, and I, it's not that really important to me. What is more important to me is just to get it to some semblance of being complete again. And so that's why I got these, you know, uh, hand-me-down antennas here. But I thought to myself, well... This isn't all that hard. Surely somebody with a 3D printer can make such a thing. And lo and behold, a friend of mine did. Big shout out to my buddy Mike. He actually has made me a 3D printed little ladder piece. And this is um, partially a video for his benefit. We want to see, does this fit in that spot? I'm about to do it, you know, officially correctly. But is this going to fit? Because this, this thing is a simple little piece of plastic. Like, it's not that hard. Surely to God, if he can make this, I think his, his objective is, well, since there's a, a lack of these things floating around there in the 3D community, if I can make sure this actually fits on the vintage original toy, then he'll make a bunch more of these, put the files up online, etc., and people will be able to enjoy what I'm about to try. Also, this is a first off prototype, let's see if it even fits. He will then print me a second one so that it'll have a match. So now the trick is we have little hole divots here. If we can, can you make that out? Yeah, there's a little hole divot there and a little hole divot there. And on our ladder piece, we have little tiny pips that, that will go in on one side and that will go in on the other side. Does it fit? Let's find out. There's no way to do this without just popping it on there. Um, I noticed there's like a little thing there. So I guess this this little uh, notch, whatever you want to call it, you see it there? Uh, I'm guessing that faces on the inside was Mike's logic, I suppose. We'll give that a whirl. And there's a little thing here that might actually cause us a problem. But you know what? We're more concerned, not so much about these notches in the middle. Will that thing and that thing grip here properly? Drum roll, please, maestro. Is it going to fit? It's close. It's tight. Let's try from underneath. It looks like it would real man, it's gonna it's really, really close there. I wonder if that I wonder if that nub needs to be a little bit smaller. Without actually uh, trying to connect it in there. Would that even fit in there? Ah uh, it sort of fits. It sort of fits. Hang on. 
Let's try. Let's try. And I'm going to send this video to my buddy Mike and just say, yes, it fits or no, we need to slightly adjust some of these things. And I'm sorry if I'm breathing into the microphone. I'm kind of leaning over. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, let's try. Well, let's try the other side. Maybe, maybe for some reason it would prefer to be on this side and not the other. Because that almost looks like it's going to do it. It almost looks right. Ah, darn it. Uh, notch was on the outside. Okay. Like that, that there. Can you see that? That looks pretty good. And it looks like it should... Uh, I keep dropping. It looks like it should go down here. But you know what? I think... Can you see that? I think we're off by such a fraction. Such a tiny fraction. It's not going to fit. Not unless I really bent the app. No, it's it ain't gonna work, Mike. I'm sorry. We're so close. We are so close. Yeah, it needs to be. Can you make that out? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it without a shadow. Yeah, it needs to be very, very fractionally larger. What would you even say that is? Like a millimeter? Would one more millimeter do it? Uh no, in fact, okay, so here's, here's the, I'm going to put that nub down there, and I think, you know, that, that would fit. And the top, if you can see that, I hope you can see that, the top needs to be probably, you know what, let's get the, let's get the ruler, let's do it properly. Okay, so I think if the notch there, in order to line up there, needs to be another two millimeters or one. If it was two millimeters over, I'm just eyeballing this. If that was two millimeters there, is that a two millimeter size? Sorry, I'm really trying to... Would one millimeter do it? I think one millimeter is going to be still too tight. I'm going to go two millimeters. Okay, so, Mike, this distance in here would need to be two millimeters wider because we are so close. But I think if we only did one millimeter, I think it's going to be still too much to try and like wedge that in there and then try to pop that guy on there. Like it's just, as you can see there, that is just not going to work. And one millimeter, I don't think is going to buy us enough space. I think we need two millimeters. So, or hey, if you could print one, print another one of these guys. You know what? Since it's a pretty simple piece of plastic. Print another one of these guys that's one millimeter wider and another one that's two millimeters. One of those is going to fit, for sure. Um, and I would recommend maybe not have that little that little notch thing there because that's, you know, it's a smooth thing here. Otherwise, I'm liking it. I mean, the, you know what? The color kind of matches. So I think he just grabbed this out of whatever available filament he had. And I think it it... The design of this does kind of look a lot like Jabba's original railings here, so that's good. So, we're close. Here, let's just pop the legs back down. Yeah, we are close. We're very, very close, but it's not quite there. So what it basically needs to be is another... Like I mentioned, focus. Get the focus going. Yes, it needs to be... Let's try one that's one millimeter farther apart. And another one that's two millimeters farther apart. I think the two millimeter would do it. These little divots, I'm pretty sure are right. Uh, I think they would hug in there well enough. Yeah, yeah, the divots themselves, these little, these little round bits here, they're A-OK. -okay. It just needs to be slightly wider, slightly wider, so... Good luck with that. Okay, well, there we go. That's the video. So, sorry, Mike. It is so close. You know what? For something, he did ask, can you just bring this skiff along and we'll try it out. And I was like, well, this is kind of a vintage toy and it's kind of, 
It's already been through a bit of hell. I don't know if you can make it out. Maybe it's improved. I did take this to Yuma, where they filmed the original uh, scene with the Sarlacc pit. And uh, for storage, I kind of put it into a plastic bin. And of course, being Yuma, it was quite warm. And at the time, one of these, I thought kind of warped. But you know what? I think it's actually warped back again. It looks like it's okay to me now. Yeah, that looks nice and straight. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's a toy that has a little bit of delicacy to it, and I don't want to. I don't want to risk anything, so I don't really want to haul it around. Maybe, I mean, worst case scenario, if the if the next attempt, if attempt number two, where we have a one millimeter and a two millimeter slightly larger ladder, if they don't work, then maybe I will take it around to Mike's place. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. All right. Well, there we go. Going to leave it there. So that's my video. Uh, Mike, I very much appreciate the attempt so far. Let's see what we can do next time around. And until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.